everybody, P here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about the second book in the Charlie Parker series, Dark Hollow, by John Connolly. Y'all, I have absolutely fallen in love with this author. I've fallen in love with the characters. So let's talk a little bit about that. But this second book, uh, it's not as good as the first book for me, personally. And the reasoning for that is it's pretty... It's not cookie cutter, but it's it's more on the lines of your average thriller. There's not as much going on as with the first book, and that kind of turned me off. I'm still giving it four stars, for those of you who don't want to hang around for the entire video. I am giving it four stars, I'm just not giving it the full glowing five like I did the first book. The first book jumps around a lot. There are four distinct parts to the book. There's like four. It's basically like four novellas is how I read it. Uh, not really four short stories, because each part is uh, significantly longer than a novella. Uh, or maybe, maybe not, maybe, um, sorry, significantly longer than a short story, is what I meant. So it's like four connected novellas. But with this one, this is a more straightforward story. He goes to one place, he stays in that one place, and he takes care of business. The story is roughly, roughly, I'm going to say roughly, with no spoilers in this review roughly about a killer named Caleb Kyle. I always want to call him Caleb Carr and I don't know why. But Caleb Kyle is kind of like this, uh, what I gathered right off the bat was this ageless killer kind of thing. Um, by the end of it you find out that that is, that, that there is much more to the story than that. And I respect the fact that he stayed on the, the, the realistic side for this one. Uh, that helped quite a bit. There is some supernatural stuff toward the end, uh, and from what I understand, you get much more supernatural stuff by the fifth book in the series. Like, he goes whole hog um, by the fifth book in the series. Another standout um, in this book, but this is why I liked it, is Angel and Lewis, or Louis. I'm not sure which one. If somebody wants to tell me, if you guys have listened to the audiobooks, or if you know how this particular Louis Louis is pronounced, it's L-O-U-I-S. If you know, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. With this one, they, they were a highlight of the book for me. Oddly enough, I mentioned how I didn't, I didn't really fall in love with Rachel in the first book. And in this one, Rachel is barely in it whatsoever. I took that as kind of a... Uh, an, uh, not an illusion, but I took that as a hint that maybe she wouldn't be a bigger part of the series. I am now on book three. I'm halfway through that one, and she is. <laughs> so, but I I highly suspect that she's going to die. So there there's a prediction for the series for me, anyways, that I highly suspect that she's going to die. I don't think Angel and Lewis will. Unfortunately, that I've been spoiled as far as that's concerned. That's fine though, because I I didn't want. I, I didn't want to read a 17 book series and have, you know, favorite characters die off, so I asked, uh, die off early, so I asked a friend if they're around for a while, he said, oh yeah, don't, don't worry about that. But Angel and Lewis, they're, I'm gonna call him Lewis for, for now because it just, it rolls off the tongue better for me than Louis. They're a highlight of the book that, there's so, so many quotes that, that I want to give you, I'm not gonna give you any, but there's so many lines of dialogue with them. And I absolutely loved. And I, it's, it's funny now because I'm, I'm binging these. I'm going from book one. I'm as soon as I finish one, I'm starting another. Going, going through these. I want to talk about the third book in the series because I'm halfway through that one. But I'm trying to stay in this one. My favorite scene in this book is there's a shootout at a, at a house and in the woods. And that whole segment, it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that. There's a little bit of a chase sequence that I enjoyed. The front half of the book is a bit of a blur. I'm not, I don't remember exactly all the stuff that ties together or how uh, Parker, you know, pieced the puzzle together. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, so that's kind of lost on me. I was here for the characters, though. It was fun seeing them progress. I got very little development, but it was fun seeing them progress. By the end, Parker is is a changed man. I don't see that much from Rachel, or, well, she's not, she's barely in the book at all, but uh, I don't see that much from Angel and Lewis, 
but I also understand that there is a book that focuses just on them in a series, which I'm excited for. Uh, because right now, if I'm honest, they are my favorite part of this series. And if it wasn't for them, this would be like any other generic thriller. Th this book. Um, not the first one, and not the third one, but this book right here. D would I call it your typical sophomore effort? No. I think it's much better than most second novels, especially in, uh, in series. Most of them suck. There are very few that I've come across. Uh, Stephen King's The Drawing of the Three is, of course, an example of a terrific sequel. And there are other In movies, everybody brings up Godfather. Everybody brings up uh, The Empire Strikes Back, those kind of things. With this one, it, it didn't feel as original. It didn't feel as well put together, oddly enough, as the first one. The first one seemed to connect very cohesively without feeling forced. And this one had elements where I felt Connolly reaching that I didn't necessarily care for. There aren't any po there wasn't any point in this book when I wanted to stop reading. This book is fantastic all the way through and the only thing that is a, like a, a mar on this book is that the first book is so much better. But I'm not going to bump this down all the way to three stars for something like that. I'm going to give it four because I did enjoy the experience. I'm excited to keep on going because I'm loving book three. We'll get into that of course in the review for that one. But have you read Dark Hollow by John Connolly? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!